Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Thursday, August 31st. I'm Paikea. And I'm Nicholas, and you're watching BTWHS News. African American Achievement Association holds their interest meeting September 5th in room 235. JV Varsity Volleyball plays tonight at Navarre. Heads up, Wildcats. Here are your deans with more important information. Let's talk about checkouts for students because this becomes a real big issue especially when students are sick or they need to go home for emergency situations the beginning of every year you're given a packet and there's some papers in there that you're supposed to take home to your parent or guardian and have them fill out um, within that is um, a card that contains information on who can check you out and who can be contacted in case anything happens to you here at school and we need to contact someone if you don't turn that in, if it is not updated, you might have your aunt come up here to check you out. And that well might well be your aunt. But if she's not on your focus, if she's not on your checkout list, she's not checking you out. Make sure that it's updated. Um, if you're not sure, um, your parents could log on to the parent portal and they should be able to access that and see. So going on to personal property, all right? It would be nice if you do not bring your personal property here. Um, reason being is, number one, we're not responsible for your personal property, all right? You bring them $300 AirPods to school and they're stolen or lost, that's not our responsibility. That's your responsibility. You brought these to school and you lost them or someone stole them, it, it, it really sucks, but that's not on us, all right? you should not bring your personal property here. Within you, within your personal property as well, your personal property is also subject to search and seizure with reasonable suspicion, all right? So, your locker, it's not your locker. It's a school's locker. It can be searched with reasonable suspicion. Your vehicle, it is your vehicle, but it is now on school's campus. So wait a minute, so wait a minute. So you're saying, if I park in the student parking lot mm -hmm. and I'm, uh, uh, and with a parking decal, with parking decal, uh -huh. yes, and we will get to that. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm out in the student parking lot in in between classes. I'm not supposed to be out there. Oh, that's a big no. What happens then? That's a big no because now we got reasonable suspicion. We're wondering why you're going to your car in the middle of the day. No reason to go to your car. All right. If you do need to go to your car. Come on up to the dean's office. Give us a holler. We'll make sure you get on out to your car. But don't take it upon yourself just to go to your car, all right? That might get you in trouble because you might have forgot that you had something in your vehicle. Now we have to search. Now we're in trouble. So even if the teacher says I can go out to my car? Come to the dean's office. Okay, come to the dean's office. All right? Your teacher will give you a pass to come to the dean's office, all right? And then we can go ahead and continue there, all right? So... Your personal property, once you step on campus, it is subject to search and seizure. We don't need a warrant. You know, don't go all that court stuff on us, all right? Just because you can watch law, law and Order a few times, we don't need a warrant. It's on this campus. We're not subject police. to search and seizure. Let's talk about adverse impact. What is uh, adverse impact? Um, well, adverse impact is something that um, happens when a student commits a serious felony outside of school, so on the weekends. For instance, um, like let's... drinking out the milk jug? No, yeah. no, a little bit more serious than that. So let's say there's a car and students see something in that car, like a weapon, and they break into the car and they steal that weapon, they steal that gun or whatever it is, um, and they get caught. That's a serious felony charge. Um, we have two school resource officers here, Officer Hune, whose office is located in the junction, and Officer Mallet, whose office is located in the dean's office. Um, they have an open door policy. Their doors are always open. All right, they're in there. You can come in there and talk to them. Um, they work very well with us. Um, they are police officers who just happen to work in the school. Um, so anytime one of our students gets in trouble, um, their fellow officers notify them and they notify us. If you happen to commit one of these serious felonies, not only is it reported to them, but it's also reported to the district. Um, if that is the case, you can and will be suspended 10 days and can and will be put up for removal and or expulsion because the crime that you committed can adversely affect the other students, your peers here 
at Booker T. Washington High School. So please try to make positive choices. It's not something that we like doing, um, but it is unfortunately a part of our job. So positive choices when you're out there, guys. And as always, it's great to be a Wildcat. See you, See you tomorrow, tomorrow, Wildcats. All of them. Today is a B-Day. Please report to your fifth period class. Follow us on Instagram at BTWHS News to stay updated on the latest at Booker T. That's all for BTWHS News this morning. Happy National Trail Mix Day, Wildcats.